Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. I'm bringing you quite a mammoth um, project today. Um, it is this beautiful hand penned card gift set. Um, and as you can see, it is a beautiful gift set that has um, regular sized cards, three by three cards and some little gift tags um, and a little pen holder as well. Uh, it actually is really quite simple to make. Um, but I am going to do it in two parts just because it is such a big project. So I'm going to make the actual holder and the box today and then I will make the cards and the tags with you in my next tutorial. So it makes it a little bit easier. Um, but as you can see, it folds up into a really nice um, gift box that I think would make a lovely gift for someone. Um, and as I say, it's quite simple. I have made a centimetre version, so you can see that um, everything does fit. <laughs> Bit of a false score line there, but yeah, and you can also see from this with it being empty how it works. So you have this space at the back for your car large cards and envelopes, and then these contain these compartments rather for the rest, and then it just folds up. But as I say, this is the centimetre version, so. Um, if you have noticed how I'm struggling to put the lid on, it's because I put it too far down this side, so I struggle. Um, you really have to sort of go quite close to the top, and once you have done it, it fits on fine. Um, but yeah, that's my centimetre version. Um, not a massive difference in terms of size, it's pretty much identical in terms of the depth. Um, the length of it, yeah, pretty identical as well. So. It is almost, in terms of sizes, identical. Right, let's get on and make the actual box. There are a lot of measurements for this. They are all written on my blog. Um, <laughs> this is my notepad. So these are all in inches, the green are all centimetres. So as you can see, there are a lot of measurements. But as I say, we'll do it together and they are all on my blog as well. And I have triple checked them, so they should all be there and should be okay. Right, so. For our actual box, we need two pieces of cardstock. This is Garden Green, by the way. This is Misty Moonlight. Um, hand penned, absolutely stunning. I will show you the stamp and dies in a few moments. Um, but this is just a beautiful, beautiful stamp set that I've really enjoyed using. Okay, so you need two pieces that are eight and three quarters by five and seven eighths. That's 22 and a half by 15 centimetres. Okay, we are going to score without clattering about too much. So we are going to score both pieces, three sides, so two short and one long, at one and one eighth of an inch. And that's both pieces, exactly the same, two short sides, one long side one and one eighth which is three centimetres and like I said it is quite an involved one um, but I've tried to simplify it as much as I can where I can okay so fold and burnish these both pieces again And I, as I say, I'm going to do the cards. I don't normally do card videos, but because this is quite a pretty set, and I want, wanted to show you how I made everything up. So, Right, so your front panel, which is this piece here, we are going to cut away the bottom squares here completely. So we'll cut those away. Right, then we're going to stick our DSP on the front. And our DSP and the Whisper White that's the front part when you open up with that beautiful stamped flower on. So these are both the same size. These are six and a quarter by four and a half inches, or in centimetres, that will be 16 by 11 and a half. That would just run out, wouldn't it? Don't panic, I always have. A backup at the ready. Okay, <laughs> so stick that 
on the front here and then our whisper white is going on the inside but I need to stamp on it first so not physically stamp on it this is the hand penned petals stamp isn't it beautiful I love these flowers um, I'm going to be really naughty and actually just get this one so I can see <laughs> so I can remember what I did um, okay so it's this this stamp here that I used that on no it's not going to go on that one so let's just make life easier for ourselves and pop it on there and then need my memento ink give that a good ink up and then just stamp it in the corner just there this away because I don't want to have too much stuff out at the moment. Let me turn this round so I can see how this fits. There we go. And then I actually used my blends for this one. So I used lovely mint macaron for my leaves. So again just a bit of And again, because this is um, what I would sort of class as a freestyle, loosely stamped image, you can get away with loosely colouring, if that makes sense. I kind of, I'm not very good with these kind of words, but you know what I mean. It means you don't have to be perfect. I think is the simplest term and then again I've just gone with my mint just to do those stalks and then we have some fresh oops, fresh freesia here um, so the light one is this oh yeah it is fresh freesia I think I used Highland Heather on the previous one never mind <laughs> We'll go with this one now. So fresh freesia. Just give that bit of shade in the centre. And then last but not least, Daffodil Delight, which is just for this gorgeous large flower and like I said you don't need to be well I don't think you need to be perfect with this one I just add some shade again and then back in and that's what I mean that this is really quick and easy to make this actual box itself there we go, done, adhesive and then just make sure you're putting it back on the right piece so if you have your DSP the way it would open then you can pop this beautiful bit of card in the back. So I've done that piece and then with your other piece here we just need to cut some wedges out of the corners of this one. And then I'm going to just go in with some tear and tape. I've fallen out with my um, Seal Plus at the moment. <laughs> so I'm going with my Old Faithful tear and tape. And this just goes These just fold into the bottom like so. So 
so that creates that and then all you need is adhesive on shall we risk him shall we risk this monster so I'm going to go really slow and gentle there we go across here I'm going to run two lines just because it has a lot to hold on to and then this just sits across the base of here you just need to line it up with that score line as well and that is your basic box part made up so now we just need to make the inserts and the lid so um, the first one I'm going to make up here, I've had to label everything because I just knew I'd forget, is the 3x3 three three card section. Okay, so for the 3x3 three three cards, you need a piece of cardstock that is 4 and one eighths by 5 and a half, which is 10 and a half by 14. And when I found my scoring tool, which is hiding, um, we are going to score short side at right no that doesn't seem right all right let's go with the long side <laughs> we're going to score the long side at that's right one and one eighth and no i'm looking at my wrong measurements which aren't helpful long side at two and a half sorry two and a half and three and then on your short side we're going to score at half an inch and three and five eighths okay so i'll do that again sorry four and one eighth by five and a half is the size of your cardstock which is ten and a half by fourteen on the long side, you're going to score at two and a half and three, which is six and a half and seven and a half centimetres. Then on the long, sorry, the short side, you're going to score at half an inch and three and five eighths or one centimetre and nine and a half centimetres. And your DSP, which I'm going to use to cover that score line that I made by mistake, your DSP is two and seven eighths by two and a quarter or eight by six centimeters look just perfect isn't it now <laughs> right fold your score lines give them a little burnish and I'm doing them these in a particular order and you will notice in a moment then you need to cut your tabs this way and if you again if you've seen any of my previous tutorials you know that I do this so that stuff doesn't get stuck when you're trying to push them inside the cards inside I'll show you in just one moment so I'll just cut these little edges here okay so when this gets folded up now your tabs will lie across the bottom if you cut your tabs this way they would stick upwards so then when you're trying to push cards inside they'll just keep catching and it just makes it awkward right so um just need to get my brain in gear now so i need to put adhesive on this strip here and on my little tab and then and this is just so you don't see the edge so tuck that in there and then that will go on the inside. So same again this side. So fold that tab under and stick it to the bottom and then tuck this piece inside and adhere that one together. Okay, so that is your little card box for your 3x3. Three I am then bravely going to use my seal plus to run down the right hand side and across the bottom. Don't you dare. 
So it's just across those two sides. <clears throat> Bring your box back in and you're going to stick this side to this side and the base to the base but line it up with the front. So you pop it on there, make sure it's lined up front and at the bottom. Get your bone folder in if you need to. Press that adhesive down and then again with the side here just make sure it sits level with your box there and there's your little card pot. So then next I'm going to make the box for the tags. So for the tags you need a piece of cardstock that is three by five and a half, seven by 14 centimetres. On the long side we're going to score at two and a half and three which will be six and a half and seven and a half centimetres and on the short side we're scoring at a half and two and a half inches which will be one and six centimetres. Your DSP will be one and three quarters by two and a quarter or six by four and a half. But I'm not going to stick that on actually just yet because I want to do the box first. Same scenario again, we're going to fold and burnish. We cut our tags, uh, sorry, tabs in exactly the same fashion. So down the sides cut the wedges just like so and repeat on the opposite side oh where the sneeze coming now the reason I didn't stick my DSP on is because excuse me I find it easier when I'm doing this to run my DSP all the way down uh, sorry my adhesive all the way down the sides and onto the tab. That way then you can easily fold these parts in which is why it's easier to do it this way and then these just close around it so we just fold fold them down sort of push them down as you put them in place because otherwise they tend to well they almost move it's a bit bizarre but yeah, so that's those bits done and I know that it's a bit backwards for me to put the DSP on afterwards but it's just it just makes it easier and so that's that on it. Now this time we're going to add our adhesive to the left side and the base. Missed a bit there. Don't you do that to me. There we go. And then this, we just repeat here on this side. <clears throat> so stick that bit there. There we go. I know they look wonky, but they won't be when they're together, trust me. Okay, so the pen pot which is always uh, the fun part. So making the fen blah, pen pot. So this piece of cardstock is two and a quarter by five and a half inches or 4.8 by 14. On the long side, we're gonna score at two and a half and three, which is six and a half and seven and a half. You following the theme here. And then on the short side, we're gonna score at half an inch and one and three quarters which will be one and 3.8 centimetres. Fold and burnish. Our DSP for our pen box is one inch by two and a quarter or 2.3 by six centimetres. <clears throat> you know what we're doing here. Exactly the same. Cut those tabs and wedges. How are we doing for time? Not too bad considering. Only got the lid left. Okay. Tabs, tabs, tabs. Those bits done. 
again the same roll your adhesive down and down there and then we just make this up like so exactly the same again oops it's just a bit fiddly because you've got adhesive like everywhere and this is a fiddly fiddly little pot to make this one okay a pop on my DSP and then whoops crumbs there we go and then for this one we are going to add uh, adhesive to all three sides so no let's not play this naughty game right sides I'm not going to play for that piece okay side and if you're clever enough <laughs> not quite you can roll it across the bottom now this is the tricky part but it's not actually that tricky so all you need to do is almost push these side bits apart just enough to slide your pen box in straighten them up and then you can put them together like so and there you have your little segments all together. Then they look quite smart. So all I need to do now is to make up my lid for today anyway. So my lid, <laughs> make sure we've got that bit right. Okay, so for your lid, you need a piece that is eight and three quarters by four and one eighth of an inch or 22 and a half by 11 centimeters. Don't forget your shim for your lid because we are still making a box of sorts. Okay, so on the long side of your lid, we're going to score at one and one eighth and seven and five eighths, which will be three and 19 and a half centimeters. And then on the short side, we're going to score at one and a half and two and five eighths, which will be four and seven centimeters. Whew, fold and burnish, we're nearly there. Would you believe this actually took me a day and a half to create? day and a half that's crazy isn't it right um brains completely stopped working here so for your um lid you need to cut this center piece here into tabs and again on the opposite side and then we need to add some DSP so I've got two strips here so the wider one is for the front and a slightly narrower one for the top so you will need um, for the, th the slightly wider six and a quarter by one and a quarter and this one is six and a quarter by seven eighths so 16 by three and a half centimeters and then 16 by two and a half centimetres. I'll pop this one on the front. And then this one, whoops, just down there. Can't see the score lines. There we go. And then we just need to make our lid up just like so. So let's add some adhesive to these parts and then again just get my brain into gear. We also need them on 
the back piece there. I think this uh, Seal Plus knew that I'd fallen out with it and that's why it's now playing nicely. Uh, right, I'm going to tuck this one into the front part there so that it's sandwiched and it won't get caught then when I'm trying to make up my lid. So that's going to go on there. And I've done it this way as you can see so that we don't have that join, that join at the front. Bring this in, pop my lid on, this is the moment of truth. Oh look at that, just so beautiful. Oh she says famous last words. Oh there we go. Oh no I can't, oh I can, I can tuck that in, that's okay. Tuck that in, beautiful. Okay take that off, press them down and then I just want to put a little sentiment on the bottom here. So I've got Misty Moonlight and I have my hand pen petals and I've gone with anything is possible because I just think that's a nice, nice sentiment for someone. So stamp that on there and then where's my trimmer? Just cut this down to size. And then I just want to pop that onto some misty moonlight, like so. And then I'm going to use my scissors to cut this one. And then just a couple of dimensionals. to the bottom and there we go there is my get on thank you don't play games today there is my beautiful hand penned card gift set part one so come back for my next tutorial and I'll show you how to make all of the contents thanks for joining me see you soon